we going to be doing today? Camera overhead. So, let's say we have a right triangle. Looks simple, right? But now, it's going to all change. Does it look like it did anything? Well, that is an altitude, so let's note that. But what's more important is that this will be labeled X for the time being. Now, X is obviously the main symbol of unknown, so that's what we're trying to find. Well, we have to be given something. Well, obviously, these two are right angles, but there has to be something else. Right. Well, there is. 12, 6. All right. So now, how do we find x? Well, let's make a table. Well, we don't really need to make a table, but this is for our convenience. So we have leg one, leg two, and our hypotenuse. And then we have, we also have, let's put this over here. Uh, we have a small triangle, which is the one over here, so I'm going to label that. This is the small triangle. This is our medium triangle, so medium, this is small. And this entire thing is the big triangle. So, now let's outline. Small, medium, big, here we are. So now, leg one for the small triangle, let's say, uh, okay, we'll have to go like this. So, leg one, let's say, is this one, which is the taller one, X. And then we have leg two, which is unknown for the time now, so we'll just leave it blank. And the hypotenuse is six. So, if we look at it from a perspective such as this one, you can go over here and it will look so short of like a right triangle. Hmm. And now we also have uh, the medium triangle, which has a uh, leg one, which will make uh, the bigger one. Well, leg one is unknown for the medium. So leg one is the bigger one and it's unknown. Leg two is the smaller one and it's X. And leg three, which or the hypotenuse, is 12. And now, finally, the big triangle we don't know the hypotenuse of, but it's very easy to find since we have the values of the other two sides of the big triangle, 6 and 12. So using the Pythagorean theorem, 6 squared is 36, 12 squared is 144. If you watch my geometry lessons, this should already be straightforward, quick and easy math for you. 36 plus 144 is 180, square root 180. And that means that this big thingy is 180. Or if we simplify it, 6 root 5. Now, this will actually help us because now we have 6, 12, 6 root 5, and now you might think, whoa, what do you mean it will help us? Well, look no further than big, small, big, small. Since, if we remember from our geometry lessons, if you draw the altitude of a triangle, it will make two smaller yet similar triangles to the original. So, that means that what similar means is that through a series of rigid motions, uh, so through a series of transformations, that you can easily make one from the other. Like for example, you have to use the rotation, translation, dilation, whatever, in order to get your similar figures. 
things. So similar figures is where you can use all forms of transformation except the stretching in order to get one shape to another. So now, that mean, uh, when we're doing similar figures, that means that we can make proportions. So since leg one of the small triangle is x and the hypotenuse of the small triangle is six, then we can make a proportion x over six. And the proportion of leg one to the hypotenuse for the small triangle, since it's similar to the big triangle, that must mean that the proportion for the big triangle is the same as well. So what is leg one of the big triangle? Six. What is leg two? Uh, what is the hypotenuse of the big triangle? Six root five. So now, this actually gets even simpler from there. So now, we have 6 root 5 times x equals 36. And now, after doing cross multiplication, and now we just have x root 5 equals 6 if we divide both sides by 6. And now, that means that x is simply 6 over root 5. So, that's our answer. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.